Paula Marie, the Ebony Biz Diva. I'm a speaker, author, educator, podcaster, and online business trainer. I'm the queen of Free 99. I train and support business owners on the Free 99 options that will help their businesses operate saving money while making money. Hey, hey, hey. It's your girl, Paula Marie, a.k.a. the Ebony Biz Diva, and I am sharing my top most favorite free 99 apps. These are the apps that I use all the time, right? Some of these I've known for quite a while. Some of these I just got hip to in the streets of the Internet. So I'm excited to share them because these are the ones that I look at, touch all the time. So I'm on my home screen of my phone and I'm going to click on my business link. So you know I have them all categorized because I'm type A anal and have to have everything organized to the T. So I'm going to click on business and on the bottom line item in the center, we're going to choose Bitly today. So Bitly is one of my favorite apps because these are apps that when you have those really long, long URLs, those really, really long links with the letters and the numbers and the backspaces and periods and hyphens, this is where you can create a very small, um, streamlined um, branding link that is specific so that your clients don't have to type forever or remember a long URL that just drags out into the universe. But they can create, you can create something very simple for them to remember like your name, your business name, and what you're going to deliver. So to start that, you wanna click the plus sign on the upper right hand corner. And you'll see that there's two black bars the bottom black bar is where you will actually post that super long, like crazy link that nobody's going to remember, right? So you just click on the bar and when the cursor pops up, I've already copied mine. So I'm going to paste it in and you can see, I'm going to drag it. You can see that this is like one of those super long URLs. It's crazy, right? And then you're gonna hit create. That's the first step and you'll get the checkbox that says that the link has been created. And then as you create links, they show up in order of creation. So if you have to search for any of your previous links, that's not like populating at the top that maybe you did a year ago, you can always go to the search bar and you can always type in, um, let's just go to, um, I'm going to type Paula's web. And so then it gives you like all of the Paula's web uh, tag links that I have. Right. So just remember, you can do that. But we also need to go to the second step of the link we just created. So we're going to click on the link we just created, which is at the very top. And you'll notice that that bit link has like some crazy numbers and letters, some capitalized, some not like ain't nobody going to remember like what's capitalized. Ain't nobody going to remember <laughs> what's in small case. So we've got to make that a little simpler for the people. And again, you're going to go to the little box on the right corner with the pencil sticking in it because we're going to edit. And now this is where we get to really like use those really um, juicy SEO words, really create content. You get to t make a title that populates so that even when this populates in the search engine, it will populate with that title. When they click on this link, the title will populate. So you really want to continue your branding in this way. And it's very user friendly instead of having those super long URLs, right? So this one, I'm going to just title Paula's This is going to be a long one. Um,
top 10 favorite and the title you can I can't do free 99 the way I want to um, in the tags so I'm definitely going to utilize that in the title there you go and the next line is the actual bit.ly so you notice that the bit.ly um, the second half of that link that was created is in a box and that's because you can actually change this and this is why we love bit.ly links right so how can I do this um, I'm just gonna say Paula's and remember apostrophes and commas and periods don't work and actually I'm going to go back because I don't want this to be capital so I'm just going to make it in lowercase um, the bit.ly links just an FYI however you type it it's very specific so if you have capital letters all over the place and your clients are typing in lowercase it will not pull up the link and that's going to be frustrating for your clients and they're just going to move on to something else that's easier so I would suggest you just do everything in lowercase and if you do have capitals just pick one just pick one that makes that word stand out so I'm going to place Paula's This is where do I want a number? Do I not want a number? I think I'm going to put 10. It's going to be long. Favorite apps. Paula's 10 favorite apps. That's the new URL. Now we're going to go to the bottom. And this is where we get to create those. Um, tags think about words your clients are going to be searching for what words are they going to be using in the link so they're definitely going to type in my name because it's my list so my name is a tag and we're talking about apps so that's going to be a tag um, actually I'm going to take apps out because apps is in the title so we don't have to use it again your title words are also part of those SEO search words so you want to look for things outside of those SEO search words so we're gonna place social media because that's what I do um, and I work with online and I try to separate these words online businesses but I'm just gonna put business if it's capital it will definitely pull for it um, let's see um, I'm a strategist let's see let's see you may even think of me as a consultant, even though I don't use that word. But I definitely use the word trainer. And I use the word system sometimes. Um, and this is a guide. So I have a guide um, that you can get. My cursive is not the best today. Nope. There you go. And what other words can I say? Oh, that was wrong. I'm supposed to be spelling guide. Let's see. There you go. Um, that's it for now. The great thing about this is that any of the... Um, 
tags that you build, you can always come back in and edit this, add or take away. So it's that's why we love Bitly. You get the check mark, that means it's saved. And then if you hit the arrow to the left, it'll take you back to your home page and you'll see that that top Bitly has been changed and it's Paula's favorite, 10 favorite apps. Now, I just realized that I need to edit this some more because I did not put Ebony Biz and Diva. All right, see, it's too easy to go back and add and change. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you create a really, really quick um, app for the web page that you are generating that you want to send people to. And these bit.ly's work really well with um, being able to direct people and give them a specific call to action. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I want you to use this, create an account. It's absolutely free and just kind of play with it a little bit. Maybe there's some links that you're using that you um, don't really like because they're just super long and you want to create something really quick. And as you can see, you can create them really, really short and you can make them about any and everything. You just want to be very specific and you want to think like your client. And as long as you do that, They'll always be able to find you on these internet streets. Alrighty. It's your girl Paula Marie, aka the Ebony Biz Diva. Your homework this week is to check out Bitly and play with it and make it your own. See you next week for another one.